So, this is my second video about the new uh, quick filters and the new color filters, or color rules, because uh, I got some questions based on the first one I made. So, just some additional information. So, this is what I made uh, in the first video, and I'll link it in the video description. So, we got the, uh, the too fast and the low quality um, buttons here, which are actually two quick filters for BPM greater than 130 and low quality is bitrate smaller than 320. And then I got two color rules, the magenta one for already played and the year uh, greater than 2020 is the one that the green one is the one that's a recent tracks. So those were the one I, I had in, in the last video. So what were the questions about? Well, first of all, um, when you turn this on, does it also look into other folders? No, it does not. It's just a filter on the current folder. So right now I'm in a in a uh, in a favorite folder called RKC. So it's just the tracks in this folder that that uh, that's that gets filters, and that goes for the colors and that goes for the, the quick filter here. So no other folders. Does this setup that I've just created for this folder, does that then work in all the folders as well? Yes, it does indeed. So if I switch to another folder over here, I get the same thing. I get too fast, none of those, and low quality, so I can run into it here. As you can, and as you can see, if I, if I order by year, you can see I got also got a 2020, so I also got a green one saying a recent track, even though I've switched folders. So if I go back, you can see that's what happens. I'll just disable low quality again and switch back and forth here. So yes, it's a, a global filter, but it only works on the current folder that you're in, but you can use it anywhere. So does it work in all of in all the folder types? Yes, as I said, uh, this was a, a favorite folder, but if I switch to a virtual folder, for instance, which basically is a playlist, it'll also work. So right now you can see I still got a uh, a green one because it's 2021 and if I select too fast more than 130 BPMs you can see I get that too and same for low quality 291 so it also works on the virtual folder and actually also works on filter folders so it basically filters and on top of filters so if I select the ones that I have pre-computed stems which is an old filter I've created it still works I still get the green ones here within uh, this pre-computed stems um, uh, folder that's actually a filter folder. So filter on top of filter if you want to. So too fast also still works. 140 BPM and low quality also still works. So with 120 uh, kilobit here. So that also still works. Okay, then what happens if you add too many, many buttons here? I'm not gonna do that because it takes a little while, but what happens is that we've run us out of space here it won't draw any more buttons. You can still add them, and then you just can't see them. Uh, so uh, they'll only be down here, so you can select them down here, uh, instead of clicking them up here. So you can get lots of buttons, you'll just only show the first ones up here, the ones, the ones that fit. And of course you can drag this to make it wider to fit more buttons. Okay, and then there was a question about if the color here overrules the current colors. And uh, yes, it does. So if I go back to, for instance, my uh, my previous folder here, favorite folder, and I, for instance, take this one and I change it in the tech editor to be something that I don't have right now, yellow, for instance, and then write the tag, then it, of course, becomes yellow. And then I remember I had the uh, the color rule here, saying, well, if it's already played, then it should turn magenta. And my history delay setting is currently 10 seconds. So if I play this track, for more than 10 seconds, it should turn magenta, which means it basically overrules the yellow color that's in the tag uh, on the file. So it turns magenta, but it doesn't change the uh, it doesn't change the track. It's just a filter, so if I reset this by saying marked as unplayed, it gets back to yellow because the yellow is the color that's on the track. And then there was a, a, a question about multi, um, multi conditions, and yes, you can. So for instance, I can do 
uh, too fast here, and uh, that's and then I can add, and it also has to start with a T in a title. So we should only get the, the yellow one then. So I can go in here and I can change it. Say, well, the too fast one, this one, I want to change that one. I want to add an, a second condition saying title starts with T. Like that. And then I only get the one that's called the loan wood, wood house here. So uh, yes, you can add secondary con uh, conditions. You can make pretty complex conditions uh, on your filters here. So those were six questions that I got based on the first video. So you should really first uh, watch the first video first if you haven't watched it. It's, as I said, it's linked in, linked in the video description. And this is just some additional information about these quick filters and color filters.